Welcome back to Realistic Fishing. On today's episode, I have a crazy $35 Walmart shopping spree. I'm even proud of myself on this one. Before we get to the Walmart lures, I got a couple of pieces of mail here. Let's check them out. There are no lures in these, so we're just gonna quickly open them up and see what they say. This one's from, I don't know, no return address. Realistic fishing, I love the videos, keep up the good work. I also love fishing. I was gonna send in something to the show, but I don't have much money right now. I love the video when you cleaned up the trash. May God bless you for that. It is our duty to take care of this world. I just wish I could have sent you something to fish with. God bless you. Well, there's no name. I'm not sure who this is from, but thanks. You don't have to send me any lures to fish with. Tons of people do, and a letter like this is just fine. I'm not sure who it's from, but thanks for sending it in. One more piece. Who's that one from? Huh? Huh? Extreme Philly Fishing. Let's see what's in here. I have an idea what it is. Dear Alex, aka Realistic Fishing, thank you for all the love and support. I truly appreciate it. Attached is your EPF stickers, tight lines, and fish on. Extreme Philly Fishing. Well, thank you very much, Leo at Extreme Philly Fishing. These are some pretty cool stickers. There we go. Right here under your photograph. EPF picture, EPF sticker. Got a couple more too. Pretty cool. Thanks, Leo. Now let's get into this unbagging. This is for everyone who loves the crinkling bag noise. Let's find my receipt first. All right, the total today was 32.23. Not sure if the camera can see that. So $32.23 of lures right here. Like I said earlier, I'm proud of how well I did. Let's check them out. First on the list, cream hard bait kit. So this has one, two, three, four, five small lipless crankbaits inside. take one out and take a look at it real quick. I have used these before and had success. I even caught a pair of green sunglasses. Check that out. Got five of them in there. Let's see how much this was. Two dollars and fifty cents. So that's one, two, three, four, five baits, two dollars and fifty cents. I think that makes these fifty cents each. Nice. Let's see what else we got. Next we have Strike King Shimmy Sticks Watermelon Red and Black Flake. I love this for a summer bait, especially that watermelon color. Pretty much your everyday Senko right here. Nice and wobbly, nice and soft. Good stuff. Let's see how much I paid for this one. One dollar. One dollar for this pack of Strike King shimmy sticks. I think one dollar is a great deal. Let's see what else we got. 
Havoc Grass Pig Jr. Bobby Lane design. So we got some Berkeley Havoc swim baits here. Three and a half inch. Good looking little swim bait here. I like the thin profile. It's not a big honking swim bait. This is white and silver fleck. Pretty cool. And it says right there on the package, one dollar. Yeah, I didn't have my camera with me when I went and bought these lures. I was in such a hurry to get there because I got a tip that they were having some good sales at Walmart. So I hurried up, didn't even take the camera. I just wanted to get over there and get the deals. And now I'm going to share them with you. Here's another pack of those shimmy sticks. Already went over this one. A dollar. All right, here's another Havoc design. This is the Berkeley Havoc Craw Fatty Bobby Lane design. I have caught fish with this. This is the blue and black fleck 4 inch crawfish bait. Still has a tag right there, one dollar. Let's see what else we got. Arky Rattle Band Bass Jig. So here we have an Arky Jig. It's got a green and purple skirt. I like these kind of colors. I like natural colors. I don't really get as many bites on the super bright chartreuse stuff, the pinks. It's a good looking bait here. Got a brush guard on it. 3 eighths ounce. Let's see how much this one was. 75 cents. 75 cents for this Arky Bass Jig. I thought that was a great deal. Let's keep going. Weedless stand-up heads. This is what I was using to fish those big Ned rigs. Everyone's like, you gotta fish a Ned rig on a one-tenth ounce with a two-pound test line on a spinning reel. You can fish it however you want. And I like fishing it like Mikey Balls was fishing it. Mag, Ned rig, he was fishing big Senkos on big weights. And that's what I want to try. I'm not interested in fishing that tiny little Ned Rig. I want to try something new. Big Ned Rigs. Let's see how much these were. One dollar. Hold it back up for a second. One dollar for these stand-up weedless jig heads. Weedless mushroom jig heads. Quarter ounce. Alright, let's see what else we got. Lunker Hunt Prop Frog in white. I have never tried a white frog. I've tried realistic colored frogs, yellow belly, green belly, white belly, green on top. I just can't get a bite on a hollow body frog. But this one, this one's a little different. This is a hollow bodied frog with props on the back. I'm really curious about this one. This is sort of like a hollow body frog meets a whopper plopper. Maybe this is what I need to get that topwater frog bite going. I just can't find him fishing that regular old hollow body frog just floating on top of the water like a little balloon. Prop frog, take a guess, four bucks. I thought that was an okay deal, so I picked it up. Four bucks for this Lunker Hunt prop frog. Let's see what else we got. Another bag of Berkeley Havoc bait. Four inch pit boss in green pumpkin. I love green pumpkin. I love green pumpkin anything. 
So here we have a traditional pit boss. If I had to pick a favorite flipping bait, it would be this one, Berkeley Pit Boss. And I got a great deal on them, one dollar. Let's keep going. All right, Mustad 12 pound mono. I typically use Omniflex like this. But since this was on sale, I'll give it a try. Mustad, they make quality hooks, so I thought I'd go for the line. Mustad line. One dollar and fifty cents. So I thought that was fair enough to give it a try. A buck fifty for a spool of line. A big spool, nine hundred yards. Worth a try for sure. Roadrunner. All right, so these are underspin jig heads. This is the one eighth ounce. How many are in here? Looks like four. So that's four Roadrunner jig head underspins. One dollar. Got these for one dollar. I thought that was a pretty good deal, so I had to pick some up. Eagle Claw One Out Weedless. Now this is one of my favorite wacky rig hooks out there. It's got a little bit of size to it, but it's really thin and really sharp. I have broken these before. They're not indestructible, but I have a pretty good hookup ratio with them, and I really like this kind of metal wire weed guard. These were 75 cents. Let's see what else we got. More stand-up weedless heads, quarter ounce. They snag all the time. Figured I'd get some more, but I want to try some more Ned Rig fishing. Big Ned Rigs though. Whole Cinco Ned Rig fishing. Let's keep going. Another bag, same thing. One dollar. Big Ned Rig heads. Got a few packs of those now. Let's keep going. Okay, so we got a Arky Salty Crawlin' Grub Jig. So this is an Arky Jig with a plastic body on it. I'm taking it out of the package. So if you've ever seen a finesse jig, it'll have like this um, skirt up front on top. That's kind of like this right here. See, it has the Ned Rig jig head right here. It's got the skirt, and then it's got a body like a craw with these two pinchers here. I thought that was a pretty interesting design. I bet I could catch something on this. It's like a hybrid jig soft body bait craw jig thing. On sale, just like the other Arky Jig, 75 cents. I thought that was a pretty good deal. Sweet, let's keep going. Another pack of Eagle Claw weedless hooks. Like I said, these are really good for wacky rigging. Wacky rigging big baits like Senkos, Worms. Not good for little drop shot type baits or anything like that. Some more Roadrunners. This is a Roadrunner with a little paddle tail called Slabalicious. 16th ounce underspin. How much was this one again? One dollar. Pretty sure this was one dollar. Let's keep going. Another pack of pit bosses for a buck. I gotta get those. I mean, this is pretty much my favorite flipping bait, so if it only costs a dollar, I'm gonna get them. All right, next is a Cotton Cordell Super Spot one quarter ounce lipless crankbait. So this fall, when the sheds start getting pushed up along the bank, a lure like this does really well. 
when it cools off and I can get out there in the boat more, I'll definitely be throwing one of these trying to pull them out of those schools of shed. Cotton Cordell, $1. I don't know if you see a trend here, but a lot of this stuff was $1. Here we have another pack of pit bosses. This is one of my favorite flipping baits. In 10 years, if I still have those left, I'll still be throwing that. Let's see what else we got. Strike King Bitsy Bug. I've done a video with this. I've caught a bass on it. I know it works. Late summer is when I like to start throwing some jigs. I like to fish them on the shallow rocks in with the heavy grass. You got that craw trailer on there. These do pretty good. This one, one dollar. Here's another one. For one dollar, I had to get it. I've had success with this. I think it's a great little jig and for a buck, how can I pass that up? Just a couple items left. Is that it? That's it. Last one. We got the Booyah Baby Boo Jig. Very similar to the Strike King Bitsy Bug. 5 16 ounce, brown and black. Once again, these little finesse jigs, towards the end of summer here, put a little craw trailer. I tend to get them out of the weeds. Sometimes I'll catch a warm mouth or something else like that, but if there's a bass in there, he's going to go for this. I've come a long way in my jig fishing. I used to hate them. For a dollar though, I don't hate them that much. So there we go, $32 worth. Let's do a real quick breakdown here. Alright, I got not one, two, three, four, five different jigs. Two Strike Kings, a Booyah, and two Arkies. All for a dollar a piece. That's pretty amazing. Got a couple of Roadrunner underspins here. I got this one with the boot tail, and I got these plain jig heads for me to put, you know, little swim baits, grubs, whatever. Dollar a piece. These are gonna come in handy. Got the Cotton Cordell, shad imitating crankbait, lipless crankbait, a buck. Pretty awesome. Got the Mustad line. What was this, a buck fifty? Worth a shot for 920 yards. That's huge. That's like up and down a football field nine times. That's a lot of line. Lunker Hunt Prop Frog trying to break that frog curse. Four bucks. Good deal on that. Eagle Claw Weedless Wacky Hooks. At least that's what I use them for. 75 cents a piece. Can never have too many of these. Ned Rig heads, I got a few packs of those. A dollar each. It's worth it. Definitely worth it. If I want to try some of those big Ned Rigs again, I saw Mikey Balls doing those mag Ned Rigs. I thought that was pretty awesome. Got these cream fishing favorites mini lipless crankbaits. Two fifty. Fifty cents each. I can't pass that up. Two bags of Strike King Shimmy Sticks, basically Senkos, in watermelon red and black flake, one of my favorite colors, a buck each. And Berkeley Havoc, another one of my favorites. Got the swim baits here, what is that called? Grass Pig. Craw Fatties, I've done well on those. Three packs of pit bosses. Three packs for three bucks. I've outdone myself with that. I love those things. So this is just a taste of what could be on clearance or on sale at a Walmart near you. I got a ton of lures here. 75 cents, a dollar, 32 bucks worth. I mean, retail value here, we're looking at $80 plus. So I think I did great. I love checking out sales and clearance at Walmart. I love getting good deals on fishing stuff. Thanks for watching Realistic Fishing. 
32 bucks for all this? Now that's realistic.